Hello, everybody. How are we all doing? I'm Loomis, and we are back to Blood Bowl 2. Hey, Steve. How are you doing today? Hope things are going alright. Still in our placement matches, but next we're up against the Felioroin Charioteers, the High Elf team. Look at them in their fancy armor. All shiny. Not a single one of my players shines. Okay, so they don't have many blitzers. Don't seem to have a lot of special people in general. I'm guessing that they just have really good regular stats is probably their deal. Don't forget, coach. You need to maintain your home stadium. Came back and I had change. <laughs> Turned into somebody else. Oh, thank you for the lurk. Greatly appreciated. Let's uh, let's fire this up. Our last match was against the dwarves, I believe, and that was a, that was a slog. They uh, they don't really play around the ball. They more play uh, play through your people. I'm guessing these ones are going to run around a lot more, and it's going to be up to us to block them, so we'll see how this one goes. So, it's the Reitland Reavers versus the Felleroyne Charioteers. Felleroyne. Jim, not elves. Now, now, Bob. You really do have to get over this thing you have about the elves. It's their narrow eyes. I'm doing good, thank you. I don't trust them. Hey, I'm not a racist or anything. I only hate yeah. elves. I wish they were all dead. Oh dear. Well, a little one out been doing game, a lot lately, we? but I uh can't complain. Things are mostly good. Got a got a job interview on Wednesday at a local library. Optimistic about that. <laughs> How are you doing? How are things? Receive the ball? I'm not sure what the point of kicking the ball is, to be honest. Might, might as well have it. High elves. Team based on finesse. If ever there was one. They like the passing game. Not as much as wood elves, but they're still very good at it. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear you're doing better, Steve. Yeah, hang in there. No, there's almost no point looking for work at the moment. No, nowhere is hiring. I just, I, I mean, I found a couple of places at the moment because libraries are looking at reopening in the near future, so I applied for a few of them. But in in general, there's just no jobs there, out there. Nowhere wants to bring in new people right now. Suggested setups. Okay. Okay, so we've got the uh, the pattern that I have been using. Oh, we've got a, a more much more aggressive pattern. I 
might go for the more aggressive pattern and see if we can punch through these elves. Because we're not going to outmaneuver them. Let's uh, let's give this one a go. The weather is nice. True Blood Ball begins now. When a player fails an action with the ball or falls to the ground, there is a turnover. The turn then ends immediately. Wait, that, that player's turn? So they can't just keep fumbling the ball? Or like, my entire team's turn? That seems a lot harsh. Welcome though. home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Violin die vile. <laughs> Miki, thank you so much for the sub. 17 months. I can't believe it's been that long. 17 hecking months. That is, that is forever. I can't even remember 17 months back. Man. <laughs> Welcome in, Miki. How are you doing? Let's see, Steve's got a break with your wife next week that you book for your 50th. Oh, nice. Glad that you're getting to spend some time together. What have you, uh, what have you got planned for it? Give you the corrupted stuffs? What? <laughs> you after my glitch music? It was actually a soundtrack to this game. My headphones are playing up and uh, there was a, a lot of static and weird noises, but it sounded awesome. <laughs> I guess I guess your entire turn ends if you uh, fumble the ball. I uh, okay. That seems really harsh, but I guess it affects the opposing team as well, so fair's fair. It's going to take some getting used to. Yeah, that makes uh, dodging enemies a lot more tense. Okay, so the ball's all the way over there. There's no reason we can't go snatch it up, I guess. Although I guess I should do that last if that counts as an action with the ball. I'm doing good, thanks, Miki. Had a pretty good day. Although I'm I'm really tired. I can't get a good night's sleep lately. I don't know. A great game so far. <laughs> how how are you doing? A little dull moment, but it'll pick up any second now. I promise. Almost quit Twitch completely. What's going on, Steve? Hmm. Lineman, Blitzer, Lineman. Well, I get the same odds against any of them. Taking out a Blitzer would be useful. And the odds are in our favor. Bigger than half joints. Push back and knock down. Follow? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if we can just punch a hole clean through here. Back and knock down. Sounds good. Super dreams wake you up. Yeah, I know that feeling. I have lots of really weird dreams lately. 
I think it just comes from having disjointed sleep. Like, you remember your dreams more if you wake up while dreaming, if you get me. So I think it's just the fact that I'm stirring a lot and it makes the weird dreams come out. Damn viewer figures. Yeah, I know that feeling. I've had uh, plenty of streams lately where I've had zero viewers. You gotta you got just try and ignore it. Let's play the game for you. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if it's the uh, quarantine. So, I mean, you'd think people would watch more in the quarantine. Like, what, what else are they doing? But yeah, I've, I've also been feeling like there's been less company around. I got my regulars and I love them, but le less randos drifting in. about to get punched above and below the boat at the same time. Ah, nice. So... I could do with pushing this side, really, because the ball's over here, but we'll, we'll see. We'll see how we uh we see how we roll. This is going to be decisive. <laughs> Superman is awesome. <laughs> Which Superman? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna spend our blitz here. Run up here, catch the ball, chuck it to this guy, and see if we can sprint through. They're getting up close and personal, Bob. I know the superhero. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. Which which iteration of the superhero? Where did Superman come into it? One more step in. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, what worm eventually comes up? Have you have you read Worm, Steve? It is it is the greatest superhero story ever written. It may be the greatest story ever written. It's, it's my favorite book of all time. Like, you know how Superman just never uses his powers well, right? He's got all these cool powers, but he never really does in clever stuff with them. He just kind of hits things a lot of the time. And that's the problem with most superhero stuff. You, you watch them doing it and think, why don't they do this? And the answer is because it would destroy the story. But in, in Worm, the superheroes use their powers cleverly all the time. So so smoothly that you don't even notice it's happening until you really think about it. Such a good story. Alright, let's see if we can get this ball. We have a 67% chance of picking up a ball. I like those odds. That's it. Pick up the ball. Apparently, it's more difficult than it seems. Apparently. <laughs> forgot my own bio. I'd forget my own head if it wasn't held on with tubes and things. I know I've seen the Superman films, but I was quite young when I watched them. I don't really remember them, I'm afraid. Batman was always my uh, go-to superhero. You know, until Worm came out, and Skitter is just Batman, but better. Also, I'm kind of low-key tired of Batman stuff after reading the comics for a bit. I'm, I'm kind of tired of the comics in general, the way they constantly reset things. But in particular, they need to do something new with Batman. How is Batman not a superhero? He's got super intelligence and he's got super inventions. Those are both perfectly legitimate superpowers. 
An average pass. Yes. Let's see if it's caught <sighs> anywhere. Wait, is that? Wait, what? Now that's how you move the ball. Okay, we caught a ball, and the the guy is stunned. Janice, I don't blame him. I'd be I'm fairly stunned that my player caught the ball as well. Okay, let's uh let's move up. Let's see if we can punch through. It's a vigilante out for revenge. I mean, the guy who killed his parents isn't even around anymore. Is superpowers a requirement for being a superhero? So, like, Iron Man's not a superhero, Punisher's not a superhero? And also, they're all vigilantes. Superman does not have a beat-up criminal's license. N name me a superhero who's not a vigilante. Okay, I spent three seconds thinking about it and one all already immediately popped into my mind. But I still want to hear your answer. I mean, Iron Man is a brainiac with too much money. I don't, I don't dispute this, but is is he also a superhero or not? Be nice to pin this guy in place. It's gonna be hard to reach him though. So he's not a superhero. Okay. Iron Man is the Batman of Marvel. <laughs> I'd I'd say in the uh, in the films, Iron Man is the Batman of Marvel. I don't think he's normally quite like that. Less so in the comics. Captain Marvel. I don't. I'll be honest with you. I don't know anything about Captain Marvel. I haven't really read many of the Marvel comics, and I never saw the Captain Marvel film. I was always a DC guy. I think what useful places I can put these people. This this one's not getting anywhere useful. Uh I'm gonna try to get this guy here. Touchdowns are coming. The studio wizard has promised me at least one more before the final whistle. She isn't a vigilante. Did I say he? If I said he, I think I was talking about Iron Man. Yeah, I was gonna. S My pick was gonna be Green Lantern. Green Lantern's not a vigilante because they're a space. Because I mean, any of the Green Lanterns are not vigilantes because they're space cops. All right, we're gonna try this. Can we get this this guy pinned into place. Those players are very close. Smells like a fight is about to happen. My team is severely overperforming here. I'm not used to them doing this this well. Something's got to go wrong. Stupid to trip up like that. Back on your head, back for your pride. Team reroll? No, I don't want to use a team reroll. I'm just bringing this guy forward to mildly inconvenience the enemy. He can lie on the floor for all I care. The weirdest incarnation of American football ever. Turnovers are very dangerous. Some defensive pressure gathering. Yeah, but I was about to end my turn there anyway, so I don't think that... There was a calculated risk. <laughs> I don't know what's so weird about it. It's a, uh, you know, it's just American football with elves and ogres and orcs, and also there's no restrictions on who you're allowed to kill. Not a 
Not too much today, poor thing. Okay, so the ball's all the way over there now. Oh, never mind. They're spending a reroll. Even with a reroll, they can't pick up the ball. Duly noted. The Federoin charioteers are no team in the country, but not one you hear much about. They've never won a major, have they, Bob? If memory serves, they were tipped to be the next Galadrian gladiators. Things were looking up, but then they played a game against the Chaos All-Stars. And in the aftermath, actually accepted an invitation to go back to the All-Stars locker room for post-match drinks. <laughs> oh, that sounds nasty. Oh, yeah. It's taken them this long to get a decent team back together hmm. after the original squad never came out of the All-Stars locker room. They were never seen again. Well, pieces of them were. Okay, let's see here. Fortunately, we punched through on both sides, so these guys are kind of locked up. But we can get some of these forward to, to put pressure on the ball. You know, this game would probably be, easy, be easier if I knew anything about American football. I could maybe borrow some of the strategies, but uh, we'll just have to make do. Alright, roll those bones. Push back and knock down, that's what I want to see. Out the way, buddy. He's going to sleep, and maybe we will see him on the pitch later. <laughs> There's a guy in the hospital. Okay, so... He's able to get to the ball, but we're going to have to get this guy out of the way. Before we can try and pick it up. I don't think I've got anybody else who can reach there, and they're all marked besides. So it's kind of a 50-50 on this one, but we'll see if we can take him down. Okay, let's see. Ha! Let's try and get that. Were they asleep then? Well, I, I certainly was, Jim. Ah, uh, do I want to use a reroll? Avoid having the turn and yeah, okay. And it didn't come off. So far, all the rerolls I've seen in this game have failed. You cover all of them at half time. Oh, okay. I didn't know about that. That's a bit of a game changer. Okay, it is marked. Scooping up the ball with the opponent so close. Heck. I knew this match started out too well. We're all dead men now. Another KO, okay. We've taken two of the enemy off the field. We're gonna win this through attrition. It's not about getting the ball, it's about 
it's about uh, taking out every single one of the enemy team. Just put them all in the hospital. Okay, so... Can you reach that guy? Uh, with a lot of going for it. Well, I'm not sure that we've got too much of a choice. Bring you up here just to support this group, since that's a fairly safe action. Uh, kinda got this all in a lock. Yeah, I hope you got. Apply some pressure. Alright, let's try this blitz, see if we can get the ball. Oh, this could be fun, especially if the ball holder goes down. <laughs> yeah, is Captain Marvel also a space cop? Is she the Marvel version of uh, Green Lantern? Okay. Can we take this guy out? Nice. Now I just need this guy to successfully pick up the ball and we can score. Is it too much to ask? Nice catch. Now go on, buddy. <laughs> okay, so that's one for us. She's Space Special Forces, okay. So she's military. All the knockout players are back on the field. How did that? <laughs> so, hi, hi Noellen, how are you doing? This team has just kicked it away. <laughs> the Emperor's shield. The Emperor protects. Alternatively, to the center. I feel like we're going to need to stagger our defenses because otherwise these elves are just going to run around our, our, our shield. Even if we kind of do want to team up on them and knock a few down. Alright, let's lock that in. <laughs> I'm doing good, thank you. <laughs> Eternally sleepy, as always, but... Otherwise doing okay. Let me try and get it here and see if we can snatch it off of them. That was a, a that was a really naff kick. Is this your is this your first time with is this your first time kicking a ball, buddy? You have orcs, dwarfs, men, and even beastmen sharing the delightful violence in the same stadium, and all desperate to see some shredding death. 
<laughs> yeah, smells like a good old fashioned fight. Okay, they're all mobbing in on us. He'll get an assist now. Wuss. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. Good call. Intimidation is the key. It was one of my strengths when I was still playing. Man, look how far these ones move. I'm not used to this after playing against dwarves. They didn't move like at all. This formation gives them a safe progression. It's going to be hard to make them lose the ball. Let's move a few people up and threaten though. Ha! Are you able to get up there? No. He'd want to go through that one, okay. So we can safely move you up to there. Well, they had to retreat a little. It was getting dangerous. So who had to retreat a little? Uh, moving my people into attack? Locking S foils into attack formation? This could be a sack. <laughs> I love it when that happens. Okay, Let's see if we can get the ball off of this guy. Don't need to get the ball forward. The end zone is in sight. <laughs> All right, see you in a bit, Noelan. Thank you for the luck. Take down the ah! carrier before he can move it up the field. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, oh, heck, his teammate caught the ball. That's not ideal. Knock him back, okay. Plus for my uh, team up, keep some pressure on them for what it's worth. If I move you to there, then that guy can't sprint past in that direction. He's gonna I mean he's gonna get tackled by it. Somebody's gonna get a chance to try and tackle him at the very least. Move some up. Meanwhile, we've got this breakthrough here. Hey. I've heard that the elves like to do this thing called passing. <laughs> and I'd, uh, I'd really rather they didn't do that to get the ball to somebody at the front, you know? Fair fight can be so overrated. There's always room in sport for a scrap like this. Ah, uh, that counts as the turnover too. <laughs> a quick pass here should do nicely. Hmm. That's not good at all. Choose a player to, in oh, to attempt the interception. This is the first time I've done that. 
Uh, oh, nice. Now comes the hardest part of the job. Getting out of this mess. Chuck the ball to this catcher and try and punch through. What are our odds? This guy does not pass well, huh? The better odds of, uh... Oh, are doing it that way, I think. Let's try it. Nope, instantly down. Yeah, I'll spend a reroll on that. This kind of ruins everything. I should probably have done some other actions before I, uh... There's a way with the fairies. Better watch out. They're murderous little beasts. I should have done some other actions first before I risked ending my turn like that. One guy off the field anyway. Hmm. I have reserves. Do they not swap in when my guy is unconscious? The player's taking the ball, and the end zone is close. Oh boy. Oh no. No, not the fans, not the fans! Rabbit. They leave a few bits of Oh boy. Yeah, I guess bring this guy up. Put pressure on the ball. Can't argue with that. There's nobody else who's really going to be able to get that to support. Is there anything I can do with these? They they don't swap in. You're not allowed to bring in your reserve players when your main players get taken down. I don't get it. Okay, well, I've got slightly better odds now. Be the even odds here. instead of against walk. us. And if that doesn't work, stab him in the face. Okay. There's no way to make me block on the ball, Kerry. Well, actually, you can do a lot of harm. Do that. That's kind of the point. Go on, go for it. Oh, nicely done. I wasn't expecting him to pull that off, to be honest. Is it too late to throw it? Yeah. He, okay, he can't do it because he blitzed this turn. 
So this flank is entirely gone, but if we can get the ball over here, we should be able to uh, do some damage. Scatter them. Another one off the field. Turns out elves, not very durable. Hmm. I can move him up to support this mob, or I can put pressure on this lineman so he doesn't reinforce things down here. I should probably deal with this lineman. is strength. Uh, we'll follow up on that. Another one down. Nice. So far so good. What are your odds against this guy? Not great. I'm going to have you hold your ground then. I said I could move this guy over. Players arrive to assist their teammate. And then we've got a 50-50. Mm -hmm. We can get up. And you guys are just staying where you are. What are your odds of getting there? Very slim. What about you? Mm -hmm. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? I'm next to the ogre. Okay. Well, I don't think this guy's going to be doing any attacking. So I think he's stuck where he is for now. Oh, it's not looking good for this guy. Nuffles balls, Jim. They're going for the ball. That's fine. We still got the ball. Three attack dice. Oh. Press that guy still on the field. They'll need to get rid of the ball now. There's pressure on them. Those are not great odds, although it will hopefully get the ball moving at least. You just get up and support that guy.
we can take this guy out of the way, we can probably send some others back down there. The player's fist is approximately the same size as his entire opponent. Mm. Not ideal. Okay, so those are uh, nope. They still got the same, same pass odds. That's that's a slightly better chance of actually getting it out there, which I think is probably the important thing. That Let's give it a go. The other enemy players quickly before trying anything else. Ah. Okay, well, uh, half time soon, right? Just gotta keep stalling. <laughs> Just keep stalling. Okay. Oh. A touchdown is so close, and yet so far. It's the first time I've seen a team re-roll do anything. Oh. I think they're waiting for the ball now. <laughs> they're talking to the fans. Put you in the way and then see if we can tackle this guy. Hmm. They're going for the ball. Okay. Hooray, the ball's in the middle of nowhere. That strongly favors my opponent. Except this guy can still move. Apparently, this player forgot his hands in the changing rooms. Okay, there's turnover. I don't think they can score now. It's uh it's half time at the end of this turn. about watching an ogre do a, a little trip like that. There we go. Half time, we're 
One point to have. We've got a full team back on the field and they're still missing one, that's good. They simply have a better dock, or they hit harder. They should replace that player before they lose any more. They've kicked the ball to the opponents. Now it's time to think defensively. I feel like the shield went very awkwardly last time. Let's try to the center this time around. Last time they used our scattered layout and their maneuverability to just gang up on us. Charioteers are looking very angry and seem to be ignoring the ball. What's going on, Bob? Ah, it's great, Jeb. This is much better. I've got word from a reporter on the ground, Jock Strappy. He says that the bath in the charioteer's locker room has been replaced by a cauldron of blood. <laughs> the ceremonial death cauldron which elves used to bathe in. <sighs> Confusing high elves for dark elves. That's a big faux pas. More than a faux pas. It's downright offensive. But on the bright side, Jim, it's given these goody goody elves a bit of an edge. Now they're vicious instead of being all poncy. Like I said, mm -hmm. I'm no racist. The wood elf, dark elf, high elf, <laughs> who can tell them apart? Okay. This is a big game, Bob. How do you feel about being at such an important match? Uh, indifferent, Jim. Ask me again when there's more blood on the field. Yeah. The high elf team accidentally took a bath in a cauldron of blood. The behavior of the opposition is far more aggressive. Hmm. As I suspected, they're just gonna try and split, sprint around the edges. Well, there's no good answer to these, to these elves and their maneuverability. The attacker has an assist. This one of my guys down. looking smug for remaining upright. Pride comes before the fall. Hmm. He seems a little stunned, doesn't he? A prone player is a dead player. Okay. We got two players stunned. Hey. Ha! Let's move you up here and see if we can get rid of this catcher to begin with.
Let's bring you up here to mark this guy. If he only gets back up. And the others we're gonna try and punch through on this side. Haha, <laughs> here's some friends. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. on this guy, I think. Maybe after I'm uh, done with these. Accomplish much. Okay, let's take a shot at this guy. So we've got an inroad on the right flank, depending on whether when the enemy team decides to go for that ball. Taking your action yet? Well, that team should avoid physical conflict. The turn anyway. They are just completely ignoring the ball. It's going straight for blood. They just got owned. That's what the cool kids are saying. Probably against that working, but that said, this guy could uh, just sort of slide around there. Let's move him up and see what happens. Is going to be any action at all in this game. I'd like to see something happen, or I'm just going to go and watch Game of Gnomes instead. I don't think there's much we can do to support the rest of the team. Let's get you on your feet. Two big guys is always better than one. Okay, yeah, that, that works. There was only going to be one 
result in that spot. Now this guy is marked. Should have spent my blitz there. Oh well. The attacker has an assist. Well, that's not uh, not ideal. Turnover. Still on the whole, that turn went pretty well. Above and below mm. the belt at the same time. <laughs> Unity is strength. <laughs> He's coming to help his buddy. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> It'd be nice if we could tackle one of them when they move, but mostly, uh, it doesn't seem to be possible. I guess they are elves. They just backflip over our trips. So this guy can potentially score right there. Let me see if there's any easy moves to make before that. into a position to mark both of them. Has to go for it a little. Okay. Run into the opponent's tackle zone. Hey, should be good. Okay, let's go and uh, try and pick up a ball. Good catch. Hello, so near to the end zone. Hey, I didn't think we'd pull it off. Here's the touchdown, which would protect them from a comeback. This might be the end. Well, the center definitely worked better that time. Gotta keep possession of the ball, not lose it. Strike back would be terrible. To a team base. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. Oh, <laughs> no, well, arms down. <laughs> I was just getting bored. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm stunned in turn, though. That turn ended rather quickly. 
we'll work with that. to be decisive. <laughs> nice. One down. I've seen them get three dice. I don't know how they do it. I've got three people on this guy and one of them's an ogre. I guess this lineman's countering this guy, so it's only a plus one person. Now that's a holding maneuver, if ever I saw one. Ugh, just knocking him back. Now, he's on him now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. Okay, I'm gonna try and destroy this right flank. Is the assist gonna be enough to come out on top? Back on his feet. Oh, we're just gonna mob these guys, I think. Mm. Yeah, smells like a good old fashioned fight. you in reserve just in case they break through and we need somebody to intercept they've gone into the opponent's tackle so they should be good <laughs> okay they're bringing people up away from the ball promising Less of a good start. These guys. Yeah, that wouldn't have happened in my day, Joe. Can you get a reroll somehow? I don't think you can spend your team reroll on those, can you? Satisfied with the holding position there. Thinking more, what are our odds of taking down this guy? Go. 
gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. So am I. Just one, one more step. step. <laughs> He's got to turn left, so let's keep moving you up. Provide some cover for our blitzer who's uh going for the ball. Oh, the ball has been lost. Uh, yeah, I'll spend over you all there. If the player remains unmolested, they could sprint into the end zone. Of course, that's quite a big hmm. oh, up you got. See if we can send some support out there. Well, and what can you do to this guy? Not a lot of, but I'll take it. Pressure on this fellow. Lock him in place. Two big goons that get together and fall on you. <laughs> well, my ogre just took himself out. It's getting rather violent. But they don't seem to be going after my ball carrier so far. We'll see if they've got a plan, I guess. But if not, then it's uh, free touchdown for us. Intimidation is the key. It's one of my strengths when I was. Well, okay then. What a Touchdown! <laughs> <laughs> this looks like the end. They can't catch up such a big gap. <laughs> Despite being in the lead, this team now has to kick the ball to the losing squad. They'll want to get it back as soon as they can. Oh, the irony. Hey. Oh. That's not ideal. Now, like a halfling on a hot dinner. Turn 
Whoop. Suck out my ogre, though. Okay. Well, let's move you up there. So they can't just chuck it over here to these guys sneaking around on the flanks. So with that guy out of the way, we've got a better odds against this one. The, the who's Caddy the one that matters. Know, Jim. I'm watching the same match as you. Those players are knocked down, but we have blocks, so... Okay, let's give this a go. Go, big guy. Trample all over him. Both are not down. Dang. Now it's the other team's turn. So let's see if we can take these two out. Bring him up to grab the ball, but it doesn't look like that's happening. Still, this is the final turn, so even if they score, they're not going to win. This player likes to be well assisted in a fight. Come on, guys, together. That's going to be a turn. What's happening down there? Night, night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Really, don't let them. They're massive and can take your hand right off. Turn over, and I think that's the end of the match. Oh, okay. Still got my turn, 16. And then it should be the end. Move Artman up there. I'm setting a melon on this fellow. KO! Let's finish on an upbeat and violent note. Yeah, he might as well spend the reroll. It's the last turn. Shameful. So many touchdowns, Jim. I've lost count. I mean, I can only count to three anyway. That was a lot, right? That's gone and done it, Bob. Even Spike Magazine's calling for the Reavers' coach's head. Who knew that mistaking one race for another could cause so much trouble? I've hmm. never seen it before, Jim. JJ's canny enough, Bob. As long as the Reavers are winning, he may overlook the pressure to sack the coach. And a goblin leading the Reavers? I can't see the fans being happy about that. Even when your own sponsor's calling for the coach's head? I'm not so sure, Jim. And don't forget that JJ's no longer a rich man. He needs the Bell Polisher's cash to keep the team going.
Continue developing your staff by hiring someone vital to your players. The Apothecary. Qualification for the playoffs now seems within your grasp. can be used to reduce the severity of an injury on a player once per match. Ah. Now they've got a medic. Sticks and stones. We'll break their boat, but Bob will come and flatten you. That, that's how the rhyme goes, isn't it? I want them to have a substitute or two. Make sure you've recruited more than 11 players. Yeah, we got uh, up to 13 now. Although it didn't ask me which players I wanted to put in last time, I thought I'd get to pick somewhere. Like, do I change their numbers somehow, or...? your shareholders a large and full stadium well, I still don't own a stadium I feel like buying more team rerolls would probably be the best use for my money right now getting four per half is quite big Okay, let's see. Qualification for the playoffs now within gra uh, your grasp. The Gizaru Paladins. Bretonians. Objective slash them. Obligatory. Inflict three injuries on them. Hmm. Ever keen. Those fancy cloaks. It was on the occasion of his son's 18th birthday that Duke Hagen of Gizaru yielded to his biggest fantasy, be the boss of his own Blood Bowl team. The Duke did not fuss over details, poaching the best Bretonian players of the time. However, his son's disastrous management of the club led to the severest of drubbings. Things seemed to have sorted themselves out since the mysterious disappearance of the young owner during a tour in the jungles of Lustria. At the funeral, his father officially declared, these pretzels make me thirsty. Okay. So. My manual has him, I guess. Dull Tom, little Tim. Little mate, tall Jack, scratcher, and old sniffer. Then everybody else is a knight. Louis the Quarreller, Arthur the Strong. Jules de Baston. Guy de Canel. Baptiste de Aquitaine. Godfrey de Artois. I'm sure I mangled those horrendously and. Norellan is wincing wherever he is. <laughs> Good to know. Okay, so they've only got two blitzers, and they don't have any other special abilities. But it looks like these knights have got a 
really good stats in a more general sense. Don't forget that to enhance your stadium, it must be of a sufficient size. Okay, let's give this one a go then. I don't know really what these guys uh, fight like. I'm guessing that it's a, a mixture of utterly useless peasants and really strong knights, but we'll see. Welcome back, Blood Bowl fans. We find the resurgent Reavers in a blitz of controversy. It's a bastion. I'm a simple ogre. I like my problems aired on the Blood Bowl field. Violence solves everything. I've got no patience for the cloak and daggery stuff. Speaking of violence, I got an interesting twerp this morning from the real mighty Zug I'll Zog and kill anyone who uses my name again. Sounds like a verified account. Well, yes. Zug twerps <laughs> that he hates to see his team under such pressure and says if the coach can prove himself, he'll rejoin the squad. We better see how they do. Huh. Good evening to all you sports fans. You gotta remember that Bretonian is a very different language to any of the languages we have in our world. It has no parallel, and therefore we can only speculate on how names are pronounced. Oh, I've got fond memories. I ripped an elf's head off in that dugout over there. Good times. Is this a fair fixture? One side is clearly more powerful than the other. You really are a whiny little bloodsucker sometimes, Jim. What's fair got to do with anything? Hmm. I like the look of the Bretonian team. Any thoughts on the Bretonians, Bob? They're Hubies, Jim. Snooty little Hubies. You hit them hard enough, they'll go down. Watch out for those yo yo blokes, though. They're kind of tricky. Yo yo. Two blitzers, okay. What does Zug mean by prove, Jim? It's the mighty Zug, Bob. There's only one way you could prove something to him. As many casualties as possible. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Hmm. So yeah, we gotta gotta mangle a few people this time round. Up. Could we like uh, institute some sort of kicking practice in our training? I don't. I don't know if that's the thing that that's being done at the moment. Zug came to see blood. We're obliged to show him some. The last characteristic is armor value. As soon as a player is down, he risks an injury. His armor value characteristic reduces this, ris this risk. Okay, so if we want lots of injuries, we gotta... Crash into as many of the peasants as possible, I guess. That's a solid formation. I want to see the opposing team have a go at the ball now. Hmm. I like how the blitzers have the block ability, but the blockers don't. That's uh, that's something. Twinkle toes there. Still on his feet.
So I need to win while inflicting injuries on them. Well, I was going to inflict as many injuries as possible because that helps me win, so I guess I can work with that. Okay, they're not actually that heavily armoured. Right, but yeah, the linemen are definitely the squishy ones. They're gathering around that lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. Okay, that's a good start. I love adding my own sound effects. Put like three injuries on them. Wait, did they spend the apothecary on that or? No, he is. Uh, he is down. Why have I only got? Why have I still got zero out of three? Does it tally them up at the end of the turn? Is a KO different to an injury? I don't understand. I'm not sure I'm not sure on the actual meaning of yeoman. Isn't a, a yeoman the person who hands uh, the captain of a, a starship his uh his little data pad? It's like a secretary, right? A yeoman is a secretary? So we gotta watch out for their secretaries. They'll try and the the Bretonians will try and shut us down by attacking us in the financial sector. Okay, let's get a wall together here. Since this is where the ball is, and they've also got a bit of a mob forming. And personal, Bob. You need to be close. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. Alright, let's see what we can do to this guy. Absolutely nothing. Are for doing some damage. Let's see what we can do to this guy. There's nothing better than hitting someone smaller than you, Jim. Uh, we'll stay. If I just bring this guy up to mark this guy, and then we attack with this one. That player is about to get punched above and below the belt. At the yeah, I think a yeoman is more like a probably like the level up from a squire. Not not really like a top tier knight, but somebody you trust to watch your flank.
Okay, I think that's the turn. That's it. Get in their face. Hmm. It's not end badly for this guy. I guess just knocking them out, knocking them out of the pitch isn't an um, injury. This is be enough to come out on top. So it's probably something else that they're introducing. When you when you knock somebody out, they get there's a chance of an injury based on their armor. Yeah, let's sweep you around there. A little bit more pressure on this fight. End your turn on the border of the pitch. If the player gets pushed into the crowd, well, the last time that happened, it took three days to piece the body back together. Okay, that's good. Whoa! Well, we just killed a man. Dead player is lost for good to his team and will not be playable again. That's uh, so that's how injuries work. Let's bring you up there. Blitz that ball. Can the player force possession away from the ball holder? They could have lost the ball from that loser. They're in with a chance of turning this match on its head. Nice. Uh, go for it. Failure that could cost his team dear. Pathetic. Well. Unless we've got a guy marking the ball at the very least. Not what you'd expect. How come their team re-rolls occasionally re-roll the dice, whereas mine just have the same result every single time? I'd like some clarification on this. Now, once per turn, you can foul a player who is down. Player makes an armor roll, but there's a one in six chance that the referee sends your player off to the end of the match. Interesting.
All right, let's move the wall up. If the player is pushed here, it will finish in the public. And in general, fans are much more dangerous than players. Okay. Let's see what we can do. through there somehow. Alright, let's go for it. Both are down, but we... Yeah. Double block. So I can't get another guy through there just yet. Can sweep you through there actually. That works for me. Free up some people. Put some pressure on the ball carrier. Move quicker. That's for you. Hmm. Okay. Not much you can really do. Okay, that could have been worse. A little bit, but I I could send no more. Back on your feet. So we got that pressure. And let's see what we can do over here. Those players are very close. Sounds like a fight is about to happen. Mm. It reminds me of the famous. 
story of Nurgling and the Great Unclean One. But this time, no miracles. <laughs> Oh, I should have spent my reroll on that. That's Sorry. what I meant to do. Well, at least they're not dead. Yet. Oh, never, never mind. We got an injury. I'll take it. I was trying to knock him off the pitch to get that injury, so... You can worry about scoring once uh, we've met our main objective of hurting a significant number of opponents. on the ball there, so... Ball in danger! And carrier too. So we knock this guy flat. And see where we move from there. Oh, off you go, Chili. Peasants who've distinguished themselves to their lord. Okay. Ah, fair enough. So I, w I wasn't far off with the secretary remark then. Somebody who's a technically of a lower rank but has shown themselves to be useful and worthy of being trusted with more important stuff. Go on, grab it. Just try dishing out a few whacks. Hey, I think that's the first time one of my team rerolls has actually worked. Okay, so, pull up the squad. And, uh, just try and keep the enemy from intercepting. Gentry who volunteered to serve as cavalry and armies. Ah. to be well assisted in the fight. Who doesn't? I'm just fishing for injuries at this point. Gentlemen cavalry to the militia infantry. Pecking cavalry with their horses and their decent armor. And the weapon that was made but that was made by a weapon smith rather than a tool smith and then hastily reshaped to have the point towards the enemy. This is going to be decisive. Who has time for him? Let me ask you. They're gathering around that 
lone player, like halflings round a sandwich. I haven't used my blitz yet, have I? Oh, why not? We got something. Smashed ankle. Something on Torpor, Jim. Must be true. So here's where we get into the RPG stuff, where hopefully all of my generic players will slowly die off and can be renamed with, replaced with characters. Replaced with named characters. However, it's just as likely that all Norel on Badger and Meow are going to buy the, buy the farm, so we'll see. Change over the years. Lord servant, peasant who owned their own land, minor gentry. So the the rank of yeoman itself sort of got promoted over the years. Rip that one guy. I'm tempted to go down there and help out myself, Jim. I'm worth at least three players, and I could do with breaking a few necks to air out the cobwebs. Possession is the key to winning. This must drive the coach crazy, as his team is just. I guess it's away. the opposite to most ranks. That have gotten less significant over the years. Most military ranks. Back in the old days, if you had, if you were given any kind of special rank, then you were super important. Whereas nowadays, everybody has a rank, even if it's a terrible one. So let's see. Okay, interesting. Only a couple of turns till half time, so you can probably just play defensively here. Well done. They have the ball now. This guy in his Tony, nightly finery looks so strange. Just posh right Running there. around on the battlefield. They're different from other human teams like the Marauders or the Reavers. They hail from another nation, across the Grey Mountains. They have uh, an obsession for riding around on horses, saving them, slaying dragons, and kicking peasants in the face. Kicking peasants in the face? Oh, that's one of my favorite hobbies, Jim. <laughs> then you might as well head over the border to Britonia, Bob. There's plenty there, and they'll thank you for it. Hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, those are some uh, great choices for field gear. I love that helmet. Tried as last time, I guess. This build a formation around where they've got the ball. I've often wondered who would win in a fight between you and Morgan Thor. Contractually, I'm not allowed to say, Jump. Suffice to say that the matter has already been settled. Opponent's tackle zone. Yeah, should be good. Uh, okay, Just I'll follow through on that one. Smells weakness. They'll need to get rid of the ball now there's pressure on them. This could be a sack. <laughs> I love it when that happens. A few people around this guy. to lock these guys into place. They're getting up close and personal, Bob. You need to be close. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. Ha! See, I spent my blitz, didn't I? That's quite a mismatch, Bob. I know. That weedy fella's gonna get splatted. Oh, I'm excited, Jim. Smack! <laughs> Satisfying. Both knocked down. Some pressure on the ball carrier. Move quicker. All right, see how this goes. This focus on the ball is against the spirit <coughs> of the game. Give me more random violence. Excuse me. Man, I'm green screening a little bit today. Now this this uh because of the green screen, the green clothes I'm wearing look like the green of the pitch. So it's, uh, it's terrible. His hands in the changing rooms. And it didn't come off. 
I knew that picking up a ball was so difficult. Oh, it's ended the Half time anyway. Never mind. I can't keep track of how turns work in this game. Coach knows what he's doing after all. A shortage of two players is not insurmountable, but it's not easy to overcome either. They've kicked the ball to the winning team, but they have to keep their heads because it'll be on the way back to them soon enough. Hmm. There he is, Bob. Now there's a sight for sore eyes, Jim. That's a Blood Bowl player right there. Maybe this coach knows what he's doing Mighty after Zug, all. Mighty Zug, the star player. Oh, that's how you do it. So how does this guy work? The Mighty Zog. Bring Iron Meow into the field now that I know how to bring players in. Oh, okay. The suggested one is to have Zug up there, which I guess makes sense. Did you know, and I think you're right. That astrogravel is made from a compound of sand, gravel, bone dust, and the skulls of five players' agents. <laughs> Tasty. Okay. Why would I not have an extra blitz on the field, though? Four blitzers. We got a, a catcher at the back here. So Zug basically has, aside from the, the lowered movement, Zug basically has the same stats as the Ogre. That's, uh, that's fun. more than two players in the left wide Oh, okay. Man, I didn't realize there was going to be all these rules. That ball starting to look a little tad. When are they going to replace it? I don't know, Bob, and I know what you're doing. You just want me to set you up so you can shout, New balls, please! I'm not going to do it. Buzzkill. <laughs> Okay, here, here works. Hey, Badger. I haven't seen you in months. It's so nice of you to show up for a stream. What a, what a special day. <laughs> Still alive, glad to hear it. How are you doing? What's going on? Mighty Zook had a model? Ooh. Will the big one manage to lay out an opponent of half his strength? <laughs> I don't know what Zug's abilities are, if any. That one's got fists bigger than ham joints. Oh. 
Those aren't great odds. We'll pass on that one. I've got plans, but I don't think any of them are going to work, so never mind. Uh, sports is going but good. We uh, we beat the High Elves. The attacker has an assist. And the uh, staggering level of violence we've inflicted has caused the mighty Zog to join our team. I was hoping to send this guy off the pitch, but he's not down, so we'll have to settle for that instead. To be honest, this flank is pretty empty. I wonder if we can just maybe just punch through here. This guy. Is the assist going to be enough to come out on top? That is so close to a world of hurt. Uh, so tempting. Do I try and shove him off the pitch? I think realistically I've got to, right? <laughs> hey, burning. How are you doing? Things going good? Godfrey D'Artois is dead. Well, we just we just killed a man. We just killed a man. Oh no, no, no. Look, they uh they re-rolled it, the apothecary saved him. The the crowd beat the heck out of him, but the uh, the doctor managed to restart his heart. Still, he's not going to be bothering us today. <laughs> sort of. What's going on, Burning? What's up? All right. Let's see if uh, our player can pick up a ball that's just lying on the ground. Well, he did it, and I'm, I have to say, I'm frankly surprised. A long bomb. Uh, we've still got some movement left. We could, uh, move up to here, and is that a medium bomb? It's a long pass now. Long pass. Yeah. Got a team re-roll. Let's give it a go. Not quite. But that was utter crock. <laughs> the game you're playing wasn't fun for you to play. Ah, uh, yeah, I I hear you. And I'm a I'm a similar kind of guy. Even if I'm not enjoying a game, once I started it, I want to finish it. I feel bad putting one away, even if it's terrible. What was the game you were playing? Oh, Norellon is stunned. Commanding decisions like that in this stream? Uh, you, know, you, know, you know what, Badger? You're right. Binding of Isaac sucks. We're going back to Slay the Spire starting this Wednesday.
40 wings. Oh, I, uh... I never had that game, but a friend of mine had it. I think I only ever played it, like, once. I don't really remember much. I don't really remember much about it, but I... I don't know. Kid, kid me playing it for five minutes thought it was good. That probably takes... Probably needs a few grains of salt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Badger. We'll hug it out later. Mr. Action! Please just pick up the ball. And Does that count as a touchdown? No. I'll have you know that I've uh, I've quit not not one but two games on stream. I quit SCP Containment Breach and uh, Heroes of Might and Magic Three. Someone's getting fired in the morning. Not what you'd expect. Listen. <laughs> we sort of quit. Yeah, okay. That that wasn't on stream though. That was uh that was pre-recorded. That's an entirely different list. I think that's I think that's the only game we've quit on the recorded list. An entirely separate failure, yes. Yeah, I'm I'm closing in on the end of Hollow Knight, I think, and it's it's still really good. I enjoy I mean I'm really enjoying that game. It's got Glad I was talked into playing it. Okay. There's not a convenient spot for the ball to be. I mean, my catcher can make his way up there, but their lineman is a superior force if it comes to a scuffle. Yeah, I hear you. I'm uh, not a spoilers guy when I can help it. Okay, let's see what I can do here. If we can batter a, a hole through here, then maybe we can move Iron Meow up there. He'll get an assist now. What? Okay, good start. Let's get you up there then. That's a holding maneuver if ever I saw one. Yeah. Hopefully the game continues to be good, doesn't count as a uh, a spoiler for you. Slug takes this guy down, we can move the ogre up. Those players are knocked down. Uh, oh, I can spend a team reroll on this, though. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking, Burning. You'll, uh, you'll just have to quit that one, too. I know how you like quitting games. Not making any friends in chat today. <laughs> Someday you gotta quit, though, burning. That's all. That's all I gotta say on that one. <laughs> 
gonna try this. It's probably gonna end our turn. We've done most stuff. I don't rate that player's chances of still oh. at the start of the next turn. They, they actually are, got it. I'm impressed. We may see a touchdown. What are his odds of catching up there to help? I'm gonna go for that. Nope. That's turnover. I'm disappointed in you, Burning. I'm, I'm very disappointed that you decided to quit quitting. You decided to quit qu quit quitting quitting. They're going for the ball. Yes! Push me closer to the touchdown! Oh boy. I don't like the looks of that. When you see a guy in that kind of armor just leaping towards you, sprinting across the map, you know you're going to have a bad day. I feel like I should probably quit Skyrim, as all sane people do. Uh, lost its charm after the 800th dungeon, but I don't know how much further away can the end be. What are my odds of getting there? 67 percent. Can my ogre? Yeah, I think that gives us better chances. It never ends. It feels that way. Two big goons that get together and fall on you. <laughs> it can really hurt. Mm. And, uh, oh, did I still? I still had a reroll. I could have spent that there. That would have been a, would have been a smooth move. Can I reroll that? Here comes the ball, Jim. Was that aimed at a player? Bravo. Uh, that's probably trying to kill the target with the ball as a missile, rather than handing them an advantage. Good job the cloud are useless at throwing them. That's why they're in the stands, and not on the field. I guess it's the enemy's dice when they roll to trip, so I don't get the chance to re-roll it. Mm. See, I want to focus on the, uh, the main plot now. Having cleared out most of the interesting side quests. Oh! Please, Apothecary. Player joins the substitutes, no casualty. Oh, okay. It's just knocked off the pitch. But yeah, in my in my personal quest line, my own version of the story, it's been determined that uh, Akatosh has tasked me with gathering all of the shouts. So I got to do that before I continue the next main quest. So that's that's what I'm working on. Send a message out asking for the location of Griff Overwald. Apparently, they want to discuss some promotional opportunities. Hmm, sounds rather deliciously sneaky to me, Bob. More like dark elf assassins are trying to lure Overwald out of hiding. Who do you think's holding that contract, Bob? No doubt. Gotta be the Kobasi brothers. They're not gonna forget the Gruff by Griff debacle. Using Twerper to entice your target into the open, that's very low. Have these Dark Elves no code? An assassin's code? That sounds like a terrible idea, Jim. <laughs> well, that's my, uh, that's my main quest. I can ignore everything else, I just have to get all of the shouts. 
Oh, also, I probably need to go to uh, Solstheim at some point and actually take part in the second DLC because the first DLC went so well. <laughs> Alright, thanks for stopping by, Burning. Have a good night. Sleep well. Pretty good players on the field, Jim. They're just hiding behind all the crappy love. Sometimes the underdogs. Okay, so I can't really get any pressure on this guy at the moment. So I'm just gonna have to try and take a few people down, I think. And maybe we can advance on them next turn. Fair fight can be so overrated. There's always room in sport for a scrap like this. He won't leave him alone anytime soon. Get old Leo to limp over there. Especially if the ball holder goes down. Hmm. This might be worth a shot. Put the pressure on the ball carrier. Move quicker. Here we go. It left you're exposed. There could be a counter strike. In theory we can reach it. In practice we can't. See if uh, we can get some advantages elsewhere. So close to see if we can feed this guy to the audience. They're looking hungry. Of getting that, uh, not great. It might be worth trying anyway. About to end turn. Well, spit into the end zone. If only Eamon was still standing, we could throw it over there. Fortunately, I think we're pushing our luck doing anything here. The ogre? Yeah, I could chuck it to the ogre, I guess. He's already moved this turn, so he won't be scoring a touchdown this time round. So once I guess this one's already in the uh, the touchdown zone. So if I passed it to them, it'd be an immediate score if, if they were on their feet. But yeah, I guess we're... We'll give the ball to Badger. I think this is the, the first time he's ever touched the ball. Well, <laughs> and now the ball's on the floor. That's a dangerous place to be. Still hasn't, yeah. Yeah, see now they got the ball again. I'd call it stealing if I carry it. But I think this guy was going to get battered anyway, so it probably wasn't worth holding on to it. Honestly, I'm not convinced Badger knows that there's a, uh, a ball game going on. All the 
just focus on the ball as against the spirit of the game. Give me more random violence. That's the way. That's the guy unconscious. Oh man. Miles away every time. Then go for it. Well, you know, picking up a ball is difficult. Quick and easy. Nothing to see here. Get him. Only had anybody who could reach. That's quite a mismatch, Bob. I know. That weedy fella's gonna get splatted. Oh, I'm excited, Jim. Sometimes. Hey, another one off the field. I think we're just trying to clear as many of them out of the way as possible now to try and get that touchdown. Broken ribs, miss next game. Move Lady Meow up. Let's get you on your feet. Where can we inflict some damage? With arms like three trucks. Oh dear. Whoop. Today's player. Is tomorrow's necromancer fodder. So, uh, Zug just killed a guy with a single punch. So, uh, I guess he's gonna be free to move next turn. Oh, he's going to get intimate. <laughs> and here's a guy in the crowd. At, at this rate, there's uh, not going to be any enemy, enemy players left. I can't say I disapprove. There's a reason he's famous. It's for taking players not just off the pitch, but off the uh, but out of the world.
Fortunately, there's no rules against killing people. Go on, Artman. You're always the reliable one. Heck yeah. And place the support. Okay. They've got like four players left. This is horrific. Let's see what the other side can do. Here's the problem, that ball is almost certainly going to go over the edge there and get kicked back in by the crowd. Within grasping range of the fans, and they're looking hungry. They can dip on shore for that loser. Now it's out of three, his back on his head. Touchdown! Oh, hey! Thatcher! Not only did you touch the, not only did you touch the ball, but you got a touchdown. Make out your will and check your insurance policies. Keep away from the fans, they're not gonna be happy. De six dead and injured on their team. <laughs> this game has a ball. Me good. You just kind of picked up. You just kind of picked up the player carrying the ball and slammed him into the touchdown zone. And apparently that counts. Now it's time to think defensively. We're on turn 16, I believe. So I'm going to kick this ball and it's immediately going to end. But you know. We gotta play it out. It's, uh, the the ritual is important. Okay, confirm startup. He's placed his players very aggressively. Probably on account of how he's only got five of them. So I'm just going to put this out of his reach if I can manage it. assistant coach hitting his head against the stadium wall, Bob. He does not look happy that the Reavers have one of their star players back. Anyone would mm. think he doesn't want his team to be successful. Very ungoblin like behavior. I think these paladins have day jobs. <laughs> Yeah, I can't can't go questing today. I've got an old blood ball and in injury. In the middle of the regular season. Qualification for the playoffs is at stake. Defy forecast by reaching this objective. Gym challenge. Get two witch elves off the pitch by any means possible. Hmm.
Interesting. Forty K. Star player. Okay, so he's got block and he's got a couple of other ones. Actually, I don't remember Badger having all of these skills. Did Badger level up? Oh, we've got a bunch of them with skills now. I'm gonna guess that this is probably the game in which they're going to introduce the level up mechanics and show us off some new skills to demonstrate that. Secret bonus challenges to get your... Yeah, the game's adding rules bit by bit. Secret bonus challenge to get your ogre to do something. He does, doesn't tend to move much, I have to say. Just sort of stands in the middle and squashes people who get close. Let's see. Bonehead. Well, a d6 after declaring an action for the player. On a roll of one, they stand around trying to remember what it is they're meant to be doing. Bonehead is in effect, player also loses tackle zone and may not catch, intercept pass, or assist another player. Unless a 2 plus is rolled in subsequent turns or the drive ends. Are the guys wearing blue? Everybody blue. Everybody blue. Ogre wish Ogre could soothe this pain. Okay, so ogres have stupidity. There's a 1 in 6 chance they're just going to do nothing that turn. Ogre never have deep existential despair acknowledged. Mighty blow. Add 1 to any armor or injury rolls. Nice. You've got a higher chance of taking out the opponent. Thick skull. An 8 is a stun rather than a KO. Throw teammate. May throw players who have the right stuff skill. Be standing next to the intended teammate at the end of their movement. Showing the pass action. Only quick and short passes may be attempted, and have a minus one penalty modifier. The pass is fumbled, it is not an automatic turnover. Okay, so you can pick up and throw players. With very little consequence if it goes wrong. Loner. May use team Roy rolls, but has to roll a d6 first. Well, 4 plus he uses the team reroll, and a 1 to 3 the team reroll is wasted. Oof. So, uh. Some buffs, some negatives. Hadra is not a team player. Bath throwers got. Pass skill or rerolls the dice if he throws an inaccurate pass or fumbles. Nice. Sure hands. Rerolls the dice if he fails to pick up the ball. The strip ball skill will not work against a player with this skill. That's good to know. So, throws and catches are finally getting skills that make them good at the, the thing that they're supposed to be good at. I'm going to have to start using them the way that they're supposed to be used. So, catches have dodge. He rolls if they fail to dodge any tackle zones. We roll the dice if they fail a catch. What's the Zog got? Block, Mighty Blow, and Loner. So he's, he's half Ogre, half Blitzer. Don't forget! 
that to enhance so your we stadium, still don't we still don't own our own stadium. Size. So damn strong, he seems like an ogre. Yeah. Checked out his law. Oh. Google this official page. Yeah, Norellan said that he's in the uh, the tabletop game, right? Full human just uh, is about as strong as an ogre. Yeah, I mean, put it looking on here, you can see he's uh, he's a really big guy, but he's not ogre sized. There's a novel for all of this. Hmm. Who will we be against next time? The Nagaroth Nightmares? It's uh, it's actually illegal in, uh, in Dark Elf society to not have your abs exposed. These these two are these two might might be disqualified. Yeah, not all teams have a giant. Some of them get like a, a couple of specialist players or just generally good good stats all round. I'm guess well, these two are probably the witch elves, the ones I'm supposed to eliminate. I'm guessing they do fancy stuff. Doom Runner. Look at this guy. Doom Runner is a line man, not a runner. Okay. Allows the player to make a quick pass when an opponent declares that he will throw a block at him. Hmm. If you tackle this guy when he's got the ball, he can uh, give it to another player before he gets tackled. They got a couple of blitzes, and yeah, they got some uh, some witch elves. Frenzy. You block an opponent if they're still both adjacent and standing. Then you automatically make a second block. I can never learn or gain the grab skill. Okay. So yeah, these ones uh, not only can but have to double attack each time. So yeah, these are going to be the special ones. They're going to do a lot of damage that way, I guess. They've got dodge on top of that. These these are just going to slip around, taking down people. Stands up for free without having to pay the movement. And can also declare a block while prone. Yeah, these are just gonna flail at you and be impossible to put down. And when you put them down, they still keep on fighting from the ground. Not very well armored, though. If we do manage to land a hit on them. I've only got the one runner. Hence, remove them from play directive. Yeah, I guess so. Just take them off the field altogether. Is, uh, is what the goal will be for this one. Oh, a bonus objective. Can you spin these? They've got the, yeah, they've got their number on their pauldron. The the tiny bit of armor that they're actually wearing, just just shoulder armor, because that's the the most important thing for a uh, a blood ball player is protecting your shoulders. So they, they yeah they got to get their number on there somewhere. 
They're, they're pretending to play the game. Dark Elf teams used to get assassins too. I mean, they might still do. This is still early in the game. Like, we're not. I don't think we're in the official league yet, so these are like the uh, second tier teams. Once we've beaten a few of these and the game starts and uh, done all the tutorial stuff, we start fighting the the big name teams. Yeah, they were able to get around the wall by saying that their shoulder pads, their pauldrons, count as a, a weapon rather than armor. You're not allowed to wear armor in rugby, but weapons are fine. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be doing this one next week. It got late. <laughs> I uh, need to get some sleep. Well, that was good. We took down two of them. Making some good progress. I'm still enjoying this game. <sighs> Sleepy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks for being here, everybody. It's been good. Hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have. You sure you want to go back to your sad and gloomy life? Club, no. All you need to do is sign a 500-year contract. If you forfeit a payment, don't worry. They only sacrifice you to so <laughs> Yeah. It's been fun. Thanks, thanks for hanging out with me, everyone. And, uh... Reminder, there's not gonna be a stream tomorrow evening or Wednesday afternoon. Because I'm at a job interview. So I'll be back Wednesday evening for Minecraft Monday. So I hope to see everybody there. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Badger. <laughs> thanks for being here, Badger and Alan. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have a good night. We'll see you next time.